Hi Teresa. Um, this is my attempt to make a tutorial for you for the rowing song. Um, we'll see how it goes. Hi. <laughs> um, Alright, so the first um, chord progression I'm going to show you is one that's built off of G. And your bottom two fingers here, your pinky and your ring finger, are going to stay in one place. The top two fingers go where regular G goes. So. That's the first one. Second one, you split them apart. So it's the top one, and then skip these two, and the third one, or the fourth one down right here. And then move your fingers as though you were playing an E minor. And that's one I think I kind of made up. Uh, I went back and che checked the uh, tabs for this song, and it looks like uh, she does something else, but I don't know. This is. This is my way of playing it, so that's what we're learning, so I guess, eh, that's how folk music works, so. And if this is hard to see, I made you a little chart thingy. So, the regular G, G over F sharp, E minor over G, which is the one I kind of made up, so you can see... The bottom two fingers are in the same spot, in all of them, it's the top two fingers that switch. So, I hope this helps. And so that's the first chord progression. So that's like, as I row, 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 going, so slow, slow, slow. Then the next chord progression, you're on... Slow, slow, slow. It's just down below me on that C is the old C on G. Just down below me on E minor is the old C. So I wrote these chords down for you too. So, so it's Just down below me is the old C. Just down below me is the old C. So, so just down the C, G, E minor, C. Just down below me is the old C. Nobody knows, knows, knows. Back to that first progression. So many things, things. So, and then the second chord progression, so out of range, sometimes so strange, sometimes so sweet, sometimes so lonely. I sing holy a lot, I looked at the original one, it's the word lonely, but okay, so whichever. Um, so that's again that, so out of range on that C, sometimes so strange on the G. Sometimes so sweet on the E minor, sometimes so holy or lonely, whichever. And then the further I go, more letters from home never arrive is the third chord progression. So you're on that C. The further I go, more letters from home. So it's that original um, G, G over F sharp, E minor over G. And then D and C for never arrive. So, I wrote that down for you, too. So, this is where we're at down here right now. Sorry, this is kind of funky. So, the further I go, more letters from home never arrive. So that G, G over F sharp, E minor G, D, and C. And I'm alone. It's the same chord progression for and I'm alone. All of the way, all of the way, alone and alive. Alone and alive goes back to that original and repeats. That little um, set of three, that's kind of the resting point for the song. So I think you probably know the words well enough. 
It's called The Rowing Song by Kathy Griffin if you need to look them up. Um, I'm going to play through it at regular speed for you. nice song it's a fun song I'm glad you want to learn it and I hope everything is going wonderful and I miss you like crazy and I love you and um, yeah I hope this isn't confusing uh, feel free to send me questions if you think I, if you need them and uh, yeah I guess that's all all right